Okay, greetings my friends. This is uh, day one of the um, 30 day 300 rep challenge. Okay, so oh, I was supposed to say I feel like I hit things, but right in the corner there. No, that's not good. Okay, so what we're going to do is I've chopped, I've been chopping and changing my mind a little bit. And um, I originally was saying that I was just going to do like the same thing every day. And I think that's what I'm going to do because I was I was like oh I should I should vary it, but I think I'm just going to stick to a hundred dips, a hundred pull ups, and a hundred sit ups, um, and you know it's only a thirty day thing. We'll just see how it goes. I want to see um, if again injuries might stop us from doing that, might pull something. I'd, we'll we'll just see. Maybe I can if I do injure myself on something. Maybe I can continue doing other things and just changing one of the um, the workouts up, not the workout, you know, the equipment, the apparatus. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think for the first seven days, I'm just gonna do it uh, without a weight vest. And then for the next seven days, I'm just gonna put on the weight vest um, and just put two kilos in there. And then the following week, add another two kilos and then so on maybe up to eight uh we'll just we'll see how it goes i might have to you know do half a half the session and take it off I, I don't know we'll just we'll see how it goes or uh, i might just have to go up you know one kilo at a time right? it doesn't matter okay the fact is is that we're just going to try and do 300 i know i've done if anyone has watched which not many people have i think me me thousand rep challenge um in november obviously this is this was one element of it, although I think on that time I was doing, I did dips, kettlebells and pull-ups. Everyone um, had pull-ups in. But, uh, yeah, so, and that was just, it just took too much of my time. I will probably do something like that again, a bit further down the line. Um, you know, once I've got a bit more organised with, me websites and the art thing and all that stuff. I'll I'll maybe do another. Might do another thousand, thousand rep challenge, uh, or it doesn't have to be a thousand. I mean, just we'll we'll see what it is. Time things, pull up ones, whatever, push ups, just challenges. You know, uh, it's going to be realistic uh, time wise. And I think with a thousand, it was just I did it in four different sessions, and it was just all the warm ups and cool downs. It just took, um, yeah. Bit of time, so at least this one I'm just going to do it in the one session. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm just going to do ten of these, ten of them, ten of them, ten, and then I'm probably going to do fifty of each, which is 150, and just have a quick drink of water. I'll get it ready. Um, Thirty seconds just to kind of you know hydrate, and then uh, we'll crack on. We'll do the other we'll do the other fifty, and I'm going to time them as well. So and I'm I've got I'm gonna put them on the whiteboard just the uh, however long it'll take each day so we can we can have a look. I mean I can't imagine there'll be too much change. Um but maybe the thing I'd be interested after the 30 days. Um because obviously four sevens only twenty-eight, you know, so <laughs> after the fourth week of maybe if I have used the increments of adding on the extra kilos, um, then those two days I can do a couple of timed ones, and then we'll see if we can you know just see what the difference is. So hey, okay, I'm procrastinating because I, I just don't really want to do this. <laughs> you know, I'm just like I do, but I don't want it as well. I'm just feeling there. Uh, you know, okay, we're, we're going to crack on. I'm going to put the music on. We're going to go around. We're, going to, we're just going to have some fun. That's what we want. Nice and steady. You know, I'm not going to try and break uh, break any records uh, today, but we'll just we'll be consistent. Okay, hope you all joining in. Although you won't really know about this, but do your own thirty day thing. That's cool. Sorry, I was choking on something there. <coughs> Literally choking on nothing. Don't know what was there. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Keep that there. So I'll probably fall here as well. <laughs> right then. Um, okay. Let's go. Rounds. 
And through the great door of the palace on the hill did the giggling, gaggling guests overspill into the theatre to display all their feathers, while clad to their bodies, skin tight hugging leathers. Looking down on his future from a high vantage point was the prince who quite shortly to be king will anoint, and imposed on this honour, on a throne to be seen, requires an equal and adored mighty queen. So below, now beneath him, are the finest around, only one he can choose to be swept up and crowned. From cities beyond, in realms from afar, he is praying ignited, will rise a great star, to shine right beside him and rule this great land, as one, their unequalled, just one ruling hand. And just as his hope is beginning to simmer, a radiant sight for his eyes now does glimmer, all eyes in sequence are pulled to her being, disbelief in the hearts now of the hopeful are seeing. A presence beyond reason pulsing with life, a luminous aura cuts the room like a knife. And her eyes find the prince now, who is frozen in place, his heart racing rapid at her pure sublime grace. Then her lips curl to smile, and his will is undone by this goddess of essence, this life-giving sun. And the kingdom rejoices as the vows are recited, spreading like wildfire, all realms are delighted. As a new golden age now descends on the lands, the hope in the people ignites and expands.
Okay. Just gonna get a drink of water. Wow. Oh. A bit tougher then. Oh, than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so it's 13 minutes and 19 seconds. I'll take off four seconds for stopping and starting. So 13 minutes and 15. Uh, 13.15. Oh, again, if anyone, uh, that's it there, anyhow. <laughs> Not that you don't trust us. I'm sure you could time it. But, yeah, when I was doing me thousand, uh, I mean, that was, that just goes to show you, I mean, <laughs> not that I'm calling anyone stupid. I'm just saying that this was, this was like one, one circuit. When I was doing the thousand, I was doing uh, like three full circuits of 300 and uh, 100 at the end. So, when I'm talk what, what I was talking about before, about time consuming for obviously, like a 10 minute warm up, uh, doing the thing, 10 minute cool down, um, 
you know, doing that. You're talking like an hour and a half to two hours a day involved, then you've got to do the editing and all that sort of anyway, It's but this is why this is this is good because this is just the it's just the one circuit, it's getting done in one go. Um maybe at some point, I don't know. <laughs> I might I might be able to do the full the full 300 without stopping, but I think it's good just to have, even if I, you know, a couple of weeks into it, um, only stop for like just a quick mouthful and that. But again, if I am adding the extra vest on, the weight, then we'll just see. It's a, uh, you know, the the point of this is just getting getting through it, trying to do it for the 30 days without injuries, you know, and getting stronger. Because again, when I was doing the thousand, uh, I think it was like the first week. Um, I was like dropping off the bar, like on, but after about week two, maybe even slightly before that, I don't think I dropped down from the bar once when I was doing the hundreds each time. So that's why I was a little bit disappointed when I was doing that. But to be honest, I'm probably a few pounds heavier. I haven't been training as much doing the um, the pull ups as I was when I was at the other studio. So uh, it kind of just makes sense <laughs> that. I'll be a little bit weaker in that respect, but but that's fine. That's kind of again, I know what I can kind of get to. So we'll just see how it pans out. Whew. So yeah. Again, this might this will be repetitive. Um but if you want to watch someone struggle <laughs> uh for like nearly 15 minutes each day, then hey, tune in. You know, I'll 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 gladly do the struggling. And I hope that you're joining in. To do some struggling as well because hey isn't the reward in the struggle i don't know something to do with struggle and getting something out of it not sure how that goes but i do feel good you know for the fact that i've done it there you go guess i've won <laughs> one for today <sighs> uh, okay right that's it i'm gonna crack on got lots to do uh thank you for watching you know thank you for laughing at this crazy guy doing these things. Um, before I go actually as well, um, there was a guy again, I mentioned him when I was doing the bar hang and he was the guy who hung for like, uh, actually after that bar hang as well, if you watch that one, that was like a few, two or three episodes ago and but I did three in a row so I did it as long as I could, like hanging off the bar which and I think it was just over two minutes and I dropped down, I think I shut it off and I did as many pull ups as I could, I think it was 21 on that first one, then I shut it off then I did the bar hanging, I did the three times in a row, I went straight up, bar hung, I think it was about 32 seconds, then 10 pull-ups, shake it off, then I think I did about 28 seconds and about six pull-ups, but it was just like literally, I was thinking, oh, what have I done? I thought I broke myself because I was like, I couldn't even close my hands properly after I think, oh no, what have I done? But uh, it did ease out, I kind of, I did some hand stretches and wrist stretches and, and did some push-ups in that, in that stretch out, so I was thinking, oh, what have I done? Why did I have to go extreme like that? <laughs> but yeah, that guy who did the bar hand, who did like 111 pull-ups, I think, without coming off the bar. So, uh, I mean, he was like, up. Oh. So he basically hung on the bar for like 10 to 11 minutes. And like, in, in, in that time, did like 111 pull-ups as well. It's just like, what type of superhuman madness is that about? I just like, you know, just... People pale in comparison. I don't. I don't think we realise, do we? You know, we don't realise how good people are at things. You know, we watch footballers. I'm not a massive football fan. Sorry, but uh, I'll watch. I, um, actually, I shouldn't mention my team just in case. Uh, you know, people just like turn off immediately. But I just, I've never really got into football that much. I watch a lot of golf and um, and various other sports and that. But I guess it's just we don't realise how good people are. You know, you just watch them and you're like, ah, I could do that or something. But this is so far above her in every sport. I mean, like Phil the Power Taylor and uh, Gurman, whatever you call them as well. And in the dart, it's just the consistency of the level of what these people achieve all across the board. It's probably just like, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty insane, pretty impressive. Especially the ones who consist over the years, like the Tiger Woodses and again, like say the Phil Taylor and... Um, you know, I, I could, I'm not going to name, I could just be like, I could name them and them. Um, but, yeah, and you know, I'd say that guy do, doing 111. I mean, is it possible 
for, for me to be able to do something like that. You know, I'm, I'm going to be p trying to push myself over the, over the years. I've, I'm just about to turn 50 in about a month's time. You know, and I want to, now that I've got this studio here, I've got things set up. I want to work on the art, the piano, um, writing, doing the fitness and things. But I want to do a lot of pull-ups <laughs> and I want to do, it's like, how far can I go? I mean, in my mind, if I could ever hang off that bar for like, uh, like four minutes or something, you know, not that again, not, it's not like, God, you can hang off a bar for four minutes, but you know what I mean? It's just like, that would be a massive achievement. But again, if you get there, you'd want to do five and six and seven and that. So it's just, I don't know, where's the, where's the limit? Where's the ceiling that will stop? And maybe that's what I'm just saying there. There is, unless we stop, there maybe is no ceiling, but there has to be something again, like where, uh, say, you know, the 100 meter sprint with, um, what do you call them, with the crazy legs. Oh my God, my brain's just gone. I think I've just, uh, you know, I can't, I just, I just can't believe I can't remember his name. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone, but you know, you like you say they break the world record, and then they don't break it again. You know, so it's just like that whole, you can't keep on knocking out the ceiling, but you can be there or thereabouts. But again, what what is that? You know, what what is that kind of that limit? Um, and is it only because we think we've reached that limit that we can't go beyond it? I mean, with a hundred meter sprint, physically, you know. You can only probably go so much, but like things like doing again these pull-ups or doing how good can I get it playing the piano or, or painting and things. It's just like I guess it's just again my own belief and my own limitations and things. So I'm rambling on here. I could talk about these things for ages. Yeah, I wish you, I wish you could conversate back. Yeah, conversate. Yes, communicate back. Conversate. Yes, whatever. But um, what's that guy's name? You saying both? Thank you, thank you, Brian. My God, you you would have been like. Just turning off this guy, I can't remember like the greatest sprint in the world. But uh, I mean, they said about him, they said like he was too tall, wasn't he? You know, uh, I think I prefer to be six foot five or six or something with them crazy legs, giving it what for once you get up that momentum. But was that his real name as well? Bolt. I mean, did he change that? Because you know, you were, you were sprinting, your name's Bolt. You know, come on. <laughs> I don't know, anyhow. Uh, I'm going and I'll see you tomorrow for another 300. I mean, I've got a feeling um, that tonight's gonna be it. No, okay, a good night. No, I've got a feeling that <laughs> uh, I'm gonna struggle tomorrow. It may be the next few days, I think I'll have the, the ramifications, uh, especially probably in the abs there. Um, I might be okay with these two, but we'll see. But I'm feeling that the the core strength might be a bit wobbly for the next uh, few days, but we'll, uh, we need to tighten that up as well, so. I'm going now. I'm just, I'm just keep on going on. Okay, my friends, till tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Greetings, my friends. Thank you for watching whatever it was you just watched. I hope it's left you confused or uh, excited or inspired or whatever emotions is running through your head right now. I appreciate it. But please hit the thumbs up and um, pass things on to your friends if you think they need to watch this. And uh, if you'd like to look at any of my art or purchase any of my art then please check out the links below for the website um, Instagram, Facebook and all that jazz uh, take care I shall see you soon thanks now bye